the light on so I can see. Today was my first business trip to Philadelphia. This was the craziest day ever. Starting with the fact that I had to catch a 7.30 a.m. train. So I set my alarm for five, set my backup phone alarm for uh, 5.30. So my alarm goes off, my five o'clock alarm, I go turn it off. I'm still like, oh man, I'm exhausted. You know what? I'm gonna just wait till the 5.30 alarm goes off. So when I wake up at 7.01, um, I panic. My heart's beating fast. I feel like I'm about to die. Oh my God, I was so scared. So I saw that my phone had frozen at 3.16, which you know is the uh, bewitching hour, by the way. Um, which to me says, that uh, the devil tried to get me, but God blocked it. Um, I, I took a shower, grabbed my materials that I needed for the meeting, flew out the door, had to turn back because I had left my suit jacket at home. So I turned back and at this point, I'm just praying like, God, I feel like I'm not gonna get there on time, but I know that you can do all things. And don't you know, I made that train with 30 seconds to spare breathing all hard, <laughs> looking all crazy, but I made it. So yeah, we get there, everything goes great with the meeting. The, uh, the person that we met with took us out to an amazing restaurant that served uh, Colombian, Dominican, Peruvian, and Ecuadorian food. And let me tell you something, I ate. So that was great, um, and then coming back, my my boss and I, or my boss's boss, my grand boss, is that a thing? Anyway, my grand boss and I <laughs> realized that like, oh my God, we don't have enough time to catch the train, like our train back, what are we gonna do? So we called an Uber, he got there, <clears throat> we look at the clock, we're like, our train's at 301, the GPS is saying that it's gonna get us there at 305, and he was like, oh, oh, I can show you five minutes. And don't you know, we got to the, the door of the train station, we pull up, and my grand boss was like, Rhonda, you make a run for it, because I'm not gonna make it, just run. And I was like, oh my God, are you sure? Okay, bye. And I ran for my life, Jesus. Didn't grab my shoes or nothing. And I ran, I made the train, I'm like breathing all hard, I take off my coat and, and put it up there, and don't you know, I turned around, and my grand boss had made it too. Let me tell you something, God is good. <laughs> Because the, the next train wasn't for like another two hours. And I got plans tonight. I'm meeting up with some co-workers and an, uh, an old co-worker who left the job and uh, who I haven't seen in a while. So we're going to go. We're supposed to go eat some barbecue. I don't know if I can fit anything else in my body for another week. Um, but we're going to follow that up with some sangria. So I'm going to film what I can. I don't know if all of them want to be on tape, on film, whatever. But whatever so I'll let you see my good time in a little while but for now I have to get home and take off these these wedged booties that are pinching my big toe like this here I go to meet my friends at Holy Smokes mm -mm. here we are at Holy Smokes and here is Margaret's pulled pork sandwich you can't see the bread is there bread or is it just a dinner there's the bread that's the oh, cornbread. cornbread and my ribs, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese. Huh? I'm surprised it's a little uh, mm. barbecue sauce. Mm. Oh, I Here's our friend Alex, who left us. This is how you end the night. With a friend and some food. And some real love. Scrubbing, I can't get no love from me. 
Exactly. She made it into round two. The winner gets a $50 gift card here. So she's trying to pay our bar tab. So go, Margaret, go. Just hand over the money. saw in that video that it was clear that Margaret won because even her competitors in at the bar were like okay she won don't you know that they gave that $50 gift card to someone whose birthday it was and it turns out that he was a friend of the bartenders really if y'all were gonna do that then just give him a birthday card and don't have this fake contest oh it made me mad but anyway, it was a good day all in all. The fact that I didn't miss any trains, even though I came this close and got to meet up with some old friends and have some sangria. So you know what? I'm gonna have to count this one as a win. <laughs>